What's up, guys? This is Manoj Bhutani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. By now, you must have like revised your topics because that is something which is extremely important, guys. This is a very crucial topic in which we are discussing currently and making you understand the topics. It's one of the most relevant chapters. So, uh, and since it's something which is related to IT, so IT is one such subject which is usually the most ignored one by the students. We as CA students tend to ignore the importance of IT. Probably that's the only reason why many people flunk only because of ISCA, that is Information Systems Control Auditing. Why? Because we don't take that subject very seriously. So we need to ensure that this chapter is extremely important, not just for auditing, but also with the sake of like if I talk about ISCA as well, because the kind of clarity which you will get over here, the same will be utilized while you are performing your level best in ISCA as well. So that is why it is very relevant for you guys to understand the importance of this chapter and the complete auditing. Not just about that. Fastener by seatbelts. We are about to take over the second presentation and with the first topic of the day, and that will be the different kind of audit approaches which are available in CIS environment. Now I am going to something tell you relating to the two boxes, the boxes which will lead you to your destination. So one is black box approach, another one is white box approach. So. As the name suggests, don't go by the name merely. So that's one of the kind of a name which has been like mentioned. But these two approaches do have something to tell you beyond their names. So all we need to understand is the kind of approaches they are. We are not going by the boxes names as such. So all you need to remember is there are two approaches in the CIS environment. One is black box approach. Another one is white box. So what do I mean by black box approach? Let's suppose I am doing auditing. Okay, I am do doing my auditing stuff with you as my right hand. Okay, you are helping me and supporting me up in that auditing. Okay, and if I ask you that, dude, I want something out of it around, not directly from that particular portion. I'll go with a black box approach. Black box approach is basically the kind of auditing which is around the computer. Okay, but if I talk about white box approach, this is basically a kind of auditing which passes through the computer. Okay, we. Get our stuff done through the computer rather than moving around the computer. Since there is some uh, kind of ambiguity, if I'll talk about these two approaches, because this is the mere brief stuff which I told you up, I'll explain you both these approaches in order to make you understand this concept very clearly. So all you need to do is just keep your attention very much intact while we proceed towards both these approaches. I'll mark the beginning first with the black box approach. What do I mean by auditing around the computer? So guys, what happens in basically this black box approach is, in this black box approach, or I should basically say auditing around the computer, the auditor basically concentrates on input and output, and ignores the basic specifics on how computer processes the data or transactions. What I am bothered about is the kind of input that I am going to get processed through the computer, and what's the output. I am uh, no more bothered about one stuff, how the computer is basically the processing. Those particular data and transaction, how the process, how the complete trail is going through that computer, I'm not bothered about that. All I'm bothered about is my input, which is going into the computer, and my output. Okay, that's the main feature. That's the main line that you need to remember. That I am going to basically ignore the specifics of how the computer is going to process the transaction and the data. The input matches the output. The auditor assumes that the processing of the transaction and the data must have been correct. We go by this kind of approach. Okay, my input was this, my output is this. Okay, if the same are matching up, definitely the processing would have been done in an excellent manner. That's our approach. So in testing, basically, I say let's suppose if I talk about the payroll application, let's suppose I'm talking about the salaries. So the auditor might first examine selected time cards, that how many people have like worked for so many hours, what have been the employee earning cards for their particular rates, and then. I'm going to trace these to the payroll summary output, and finally, I'm going to compare. I'm going to compare the kind of hours, the rates, and their extension. So what I did was I basically inserted some of the input, okay, on behalf of my basic investigation about their the hours, their cards, their earning rates, and I finally matched it up with their final output, which was all about the kind of payroll summary data which I got, and thereby I compared the hours, the rates, the extension. So this comparison of input and output may be done manually as well with the assistance of the computer. 
the computer assisted approach basically has the advantage advantage of what guys advantage of basically permitting the auditor to make more comparisons than it would have been possible if in case he would have opted doing it manually so that's the only better advantage why because i'll be getting more of the samples and out of those more samples i can select the ones which i like the most okay or if i be like working with any kind of big four so big fours usually have their own softwares there from we uh, get some of the random data okay that we'll go with ey concise uh, concise or maybe like ey random or maybe any other stuff pwc will be having their own kind of softwares gd is uh, having voyager all these particular institutions having their own respective softwares so auditing around the computer basically it has a advantage advantage of ease of comprehension as the tracing of the documents to output does not require any in depth study of their application program i am not bothered about much how the processing is taking place okay all i am bothered about here is the kind of input that i am uh, inserting in my computer and the kind of output that i am getting out of it okay and this is basically helping me up in a way that i'll be like getting the best kind of samples which are sufficient and appropriate and i'll be getting the kind of data wherein i can compare the same with the client out this is my predetermined output as an auditor this is the be best benefit now this is the advantage now if i'll talk about something relating to its disadvantage so a major disadvantage is that that the auditor not having directly tested the control i didn't do that right i didn't checked out the kind of uh, processes it is having the kind of stuff that's going into that computer did i no i didn't checked it out why because i was merely concerned more about the input and the output so since that i as an auditor didn't have directly tested the control i cannot make certain assertions about the underlying process moreover in some of the more complex computer systems intermediate printout may not be available for making the needed comparisons let's suppose it's a huge data huge 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 data okay can i bring that data on paper as a printout and try it for the comparisons part absolutely not since it's a huge data the same cannot be like completely presented on a single merely piece of paper no so that's going to again get me into a trouble wherein i won't be able to compare the client output in a single format okay so this is these are the basic two disadvantages of this system this was all about the black box approach which meaning is that auditing around the computer now you got that perfect so all you are concerned about is the kind of input that you are uh, placing it into the computer and the kind of output that you are generating you are not bothered about the kind of how information is going through that computer how the processing is being done how the transactions are moving into it okay so here something that's missing is the audit trail you can't connect that up this is all about the black box approach auditing around the computer i hope i have given you ample amount of examples in order to make you understand this concept very clearly guys shall we proceed further absolutely we need to let's move towards the second approach and that will be white box approach that is auditing through the computer so now guys since i made you understand that approach very clearly now you must have got that hint that idea what's going to be the difference in white box approach if i'll talk about in comparison black box one so you are thinking it at the most appropriate manner perfect guys you had the right bulls eye so the only difference that's going to make this particular approach different from the other one is that now you will be bothered and you will take into the consideration the kind of processing in which manner it's going on in that cpu that complete audit trail you will be concerned about that in this particular approach so the processes and the controls which are surrounding the subject are not only subject to particular audit but also the process and controls which are operating over this process are investigated in order to help the auditor to gain access to these processes computer audit software may be used it includes various amount of packages guys various so one you can have interactive inquiry facilities to interrogate some of the files that can be done another you can have the facility to analyze the computer security logs for unusual kind of usage of the computer that is again something which will be available in cpu to talk about the audit trail then you can have one feature of the ability to compare the source and the object program codes in order to detect the dissimilarities then you can have another facility facility of what facility of basically executing and observing the computer treatment of live transactions by moving through the process as it occurs then you can generate the test of data all these things are something which you can have if in case 
you are concerned about how processing is going to take place in that cpu itself so now you are not just supposed uh, to be considered about the input and output also you are going to consider and uh, provide some of the consideration towards how the processing is being done in that cpu how the audit basically moves how the audit trail is done so all these things are something which you can check while you are bothered about these cpu stuff as well so the kind of generation of age which shows the logs of application programs auditing controls actual controls and the high level controls will be evaluated and then it shall be subject to compliance testing as well so all these things and guys this is very 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 obvious okay it's very obvious that to follow this particular approach you as an auditor needs to have very sufficient knowledge sufficient knowledge of what sufficient knowledge of the computers you need to have that complete idea how it's working how the kind of softwares are working then only you can plan you can direct and supervise and review the kind of work which was performed by that computer only then so you need to keep yourself abreast with each kind of detailing how it's going on so the various kind of areas which can be covered in an audit will basically concentrate on various controls what number 1 is input control how the input is going on into that computer is it going in an appropriate manner or not then what's going to happen is second control that is the processing control so how processing is going on in that computer are the complete database is like evaluated for that particular stuff or not whether the data which is inserted was it appropriate or sufficient or not then once the processing is being done you'll take care of the storage control is my data which has been like processed now it's been like under control with with terms of storage as well or there is some kind of problem going on with the storage facilities of that computer or that desktop stuff wherein my data is just not protected so we'll take care of that storage control and once the storage control is done you'll move towards the output control how the output is basically like extracted from that computer are there particular softwares which help you enable you uh, providing you the details in completeness or not is excel is like directly in, intact with that computer or not so whatever kind of uh, data you'll be getting whether you do have an option of getting it extracted in powerpoint word excel data stuff or not and once you're done with that output control then you'll be moving towards the last part that is a data transmission control so finally how after getting the output how you're going to transmit that data to various devices whether in the form of printout or in the form of some kind of cd or in the form of some kind of pen drive or in the form of some kind of emailing facilities so your audit is basically going to cover all these aspects the input controls then processing controls and storage control output control and then finally the data transmission control so you as an auditor is, are going to also need to be satisfied about that are there some kind of adequate controls or not over the prevention of the unauthorized access to the computer there is a person who is already having an access to one uh, computer okay another person comes in and you just see that that this person didn't had the access of that computer so how is it working with that particular computer are these guys basically sharing the passwords of doing that or not that's going to clip in your mind okay and that's going to bring in that questioning mind into your picture that is your professional skepticism why it's being done is there some kind of unauthorized access which is going to be provided to that person towards that computerized database so you as an auditor your task will also involve your consideration of the separation of the functions between staff which involved in a transaction processing and the computer system and thereby you need to ensure that adequate supervision of the personnel is administered the process of auditing is not a straight forward flow of work we all are aware of that one so once you start auditing you will get to know it's not a straight forward kind of a work okay we need to get the data extracted from the persons various persons and then only then only we'll be like able to provide them a, some kind of good consultancy with the kind of work that they are doing so from start to finish it has to be completed by satisfying oneself against a standard checklist or a list of questions this involves various exposure exposure experiences and application of the knowledge and expertise to differing circumstances no two information systems are same we all are aware of that you work on sap you will get something you work on oracle you'll get something different so no two information systems softwares are same from the point of view of analysis of the computerized information system you as auditor need not only have the adequacy of the knowledge regarding the information requirement and computer data security you must also get that particular exposure towards the system analysis and design so that you can facilitate post implementation audit as well so these are the things which you go through the white box approach if i'll talk about the auditing through the computer this is why it is totally different from black box approach 
and why it is recommended you now by now you must have got the idea the complete awareness why this approach is recommended if i'll talk in comparison with the black box approach so i hope that you guys got the complete clarity with respect to n number of examples that i made you understand this particular top till then i must say and conclude this video keep interacting by your questions and queries in the youtube boxes i would love to answer each one of your queries and your answers stay connected guys that will help us in understanding your needs way 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 better if in case you like the video do give us a thumbs up that will help be uh, appreciable me thank you so much i'll see you in the next presentation till then bye alexana ra good bye drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos